Cap City, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy. Hold on, y'all. I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn for the month of November. Cap City, what's up? It is officially <laughs> Sagittarius season. We're in your 12th house right now, okay? Energies in the 12th house. That's your subconscious, okay? The things that you um, do that you don't, you may not know that you do or pay attention to it. You know, like, you know people who, who chew with their mouth open, that type of shit. <laughs> you know, an example of something that you do, you may not realize you do it, but it annoy other people. You know, because with, with the 12th house, you're dealing with hidden enemies. So it could be people who just mad at you about, that you don't even know why they mad at you. Or people who have issues with you and you don't know they have issues. It's the issues they have that they won't tell you. That's why it's the house of the unconscious, the shit you don't know. Like, you know, we go through this world, we live our lives, we experience things with people, but there's certain shit we just don't know that may be going on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? And this is the house of that. So, a lot of what happens with us goes on behind the scenes. And so we're in sad season for you. And let's look at what's going on behind the scenes. Since this is the only, the only covered part in the uh, 12 houses of the Zodiac, we can figure out what to uncover or what's in here so we can have some more uh, understanding of what's going on. What's going on with Cap City? What are they going to be experiencing Sagittarius season? Let's get some cards out for Cap City. We got the Four of Pentacles. That's you starting off the reading, okay? Cap City, messages for Cap City. We got the hangman, major arcana, Neptune energy. So I feel like you're definitely taking a pause. I feel that, you know, you're in a situation where you're like, you know what, let me just hold off on things for a minute. We got the page of pentacles. That's your energy. So you're showing up heavy thus far. In the middle, you know, you're surrounded by two major arcana. So for some of you, this happened, this is going on right now. For others of you, you've already been through the situation and now you're at a point where you could be starting again or realizing what you have to do. You have to move on. Got death energy, Scorpio. Yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Some of you are putting a plan in place, dotting all your I's, crossing all your T's. Libra energy, page of swords. Some of you can be planning on moving or relocating or considering that. Some of you may have already done that and now you're getting established. Yeah, we have the three of wands energy in reverse. Some of you still not able to move yet. Not sure how to bring something to an end. Not sure how to get money to be able to transition. Somebody's looking to save some money to put some money away. We got the Eight of Wands energy. Some of you are looking for jobs on online. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords. Gemini and the Five of Wands. Leo. Overall energy, Four of Wands. I, I feel like somebody's looking for a new house. Somebody's going to buy a house. Okay, Cap City. Somebody's looking for an apartment. Somebody's looking for a condo. Somebody's looking for a vacation home. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, we got some cycles closing out. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is more so of a move for some of you. Because with the four of wands and in the center of the reading is the page of swords. That's you definitely doing research. You looking at different uh, areas of where you want to move. Um, checking out the job market. Um, looking at the residences, looking, you know, how you can go online and look. Some of you are looking for houses. Some of you, like I said, condos. Others of you, apartments. Some vacation home. Maybe you just want to go take a trip for a minute. Okay? But I feel like somebody is like, yo, I need a break from whatever's going on here. And there's definitely an ending here in Scorpio season. So now we're in Sag season here. This is you looking at what's going on here. So you're definitely... Uh, in a situation here where you know something is not going anywhere. 
this could be a situation here where you may have been lied to. Somebody could have, um, you know, misled you to believe something was what it wasn't. But there was some betrayal here for some of you. And with the Five of Wands. Now, I don't like this energy in here with these readings. With the Death card and the uh, Ten of Swords and the Five of Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So, I feel that, you know, um, you have been uh, in a situation where maybe you've been trying to get rid of this person for a minute. And um, you're just trying to figure out how to do it. Some of you have been trying to get this person off your away out of your energy for a minute. It's like you're trying to wean them off of you. You know, it's just like, okay, I'm a, you know, instead of talking to them every day, from now on, I'm going to talk to them every two days. That's it. That's all they get from me. It could be a family member. Because, you know, I feel like for some of you, this could have been a family member situation where, you know, you don't want to be rude to your family because the four of wands deals with your family as well, not just lovers. But it could be both for some of y'all. But if it's the family part, it's like, all right, I don't want to be disrespectful, so I keep my distance. Um, but I feel like somebody feels, in that note, I feel like somebody feels betrayed. Somebody feels betrayed. I don't know what hmm, this five of wands energy. Somebody could be in their head about this. You know, they're feeling defensive about a situation. And somebody's like, okay, the other person. Okay, so this is just a, hmm, this is interesting. But it, there's a misunderstanding here for sure. I do see that between two people. Uh, I feel like both of you are feeling the same thing. Like, both of you feel like, okay, well, you stop communicating with me or you turned your back on me type of energy here. I feel like this is how both people are looking at it. So this is a family situation for some of you. For others of you, it's a lover situation. But with the lover situation, I feel like you're trying to wean this person off of you. Like, it's, like, like I said, um, you know, instead of you talking to them every, every day, you could be talking to them like once a week. You know, and now you narrow it down to maybe once every two weeks because you just don't have anything in common with this person. You've changed with the um the death energy. You've changed. You've you've transformed. Like some of the things that you used to do don't work for you no more. Some of the people you used to communicate with don't it don't work for you no more. Or the way the communication was doesn't work anymore. Things need to change. Or for some of you, things have already changed. This is death energy. Is a major change here. We have the malady energy in reverse here. Somebody, um, hmm. I don't know for some of you, if somebody pass, if somebody is sick, if somebody is not well, hmm, interesting. So for some of you, that could be the case. There could be somebody who's not well. This could be a family member. Okay, who um, may not be uh, doing well health-wise. Some of you, okay, for some of you, somebody could be, yeah, and somebody's having a problem reaching out to the other, uh, to other family members. There's another situation going on here for some of you. Some of you, there's somebody who um, passed away or is sick and they want to notify other family members, but they don't communicate with other family members. So they've taken their time because they don't want to argue or fight with this person because this is somebody they argue and fight with. It's something like that, but there's a, there's a hesitancy of somebody saying something to somebody because... Um, there's some type of, somebody feels defensive here. Like, I feel like somebody feels like somebody, there's some explaining somebody has to do. Something like that. What's this, uh... Alright, so clarifying the uh, hang woman with faithfulness energy in reverse. So somebody is feeling like, okay, they see that somebody is, is disloyal. Or they look at somebody as unfaithful. Or somebody can't be faithful. But I do sense disloyalty for family member. All right. So, yeah, somebody's um, somebody just feels like somebody betrayed them. You have to see what's up. So, yeah, we got the four of wands. So family or a lover Here's the five of wands. We got the five of wands here. So there could be um, 
somebody may uh, want to move or may want to relocate. But with the moon energy here and the sun energy, but damn, these are the first uh, four cards I picked up off the top of the deck. I usually pick up the top five, but if I pick up the top five, look at this. All these major arcanas, you got major changes going on. Capricorn, major changes. So for some of you, like I said, you are um, you're trying to figure out how to move away from somebody. That's for some of you. For others of you, hmm. It's the same thing. If it's a lover situation, it's like somebody um, is wondering what would it would be like. Hmm. Somebody also, like I said, um, they're in their ego. They're debating on if they're going to tell this person about what's going Like, there's a sick relative, and somebody has to contact the other relatives to let them know, right? And this person, they don't want to contact a particular relative because they don't speak to this relative. Not because the sick person don't. The sick person speaks to both of them, right? But this one person who knows what's going on or... Something like that is not letting the other person know because they don't speak. This could be about a marriage too, okay, a marriage situation. These could be friends who are doing this. It could be any situation or scenario. But if, it, if it's marriage, it's like you're married to someone's, like it's in-laws that are involved in this situation that are causing problems. Or, it's, you know, the situation is between in-laws. Hmm. Let's see what else we get for y'all. That's uh, some of the stuff I got. I'm uh, shuffle these cards all crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh well, try something new. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got for Cap City? We'll do an extended on this spread right here. We won't spend too much more time on it. I don't want to make the video too long, but we'll go into it and then finish the rest. In extended, but we definitely gonna do another spread. So, tell me what the current situation for Cap City. What do they need to know? The star energy in reverse, Aquarius. That's your first. That's your second house. You got the Four of Pentacles, your first house. So I feel like you know. You see a situation is not moving forward. But it's, um, you know, it may be hard for you to let go. Or there's somebody who can't let go of you. We got the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, the Seven of Wands energy in reverse, Taurus. One too many, just one. Yeah, we got the five of cups in reverse. Scorpio energy, yeah. This is somebody letting go at the end here. Overall energy, three of wands in reverse. Something not moving forward. So, star energy, major arcana of Aquarius. This is your second house. Aquarius is all about forward movement. It's all about your hopes and your dreams, the things that you really want, your long term, long term goals, long term, you know, plans, right? And when that's in reverse, it's like all oh, that's down the drain. It's like some of you saw yourself with this person, uh, long term, or you saw yourself in this situation long term. The challenge is letting go. The Four of Pentacles. That's the that's the challenge here. You know, it's going to take you some time. This is what you, the universe wants you to know with the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to take some time. But, um, you know, another thing you got to be careful of is not looking at the situation like, you know, well, what about all this time I put into it? Don't use that as an excuse to not let it go, but use that as fuel to say, look how long I've been in this situation and it is not going in my favor. Don't beat yourself up about it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's still not going to get you nowhere. You got to realize what you need to do. And just simply do it. We all human. We all make mistakes. 
So the universe doesn't want you to look at this as if this was a waste of time with the seven of pentacles in reverse. The universe wants you to look at this like, okay, what was the lesson in this? Because there had to have been a lesson in this for this to put me in a situation of feeling this way. And then that's what's going to help you with the five of uh, cups in reverse get over it. That's what's going to help you get over it. But right now, for some of you, you're stuck in your feelings, you're stuck in your emotions. Or if this is not you, this is someone feeling this way about you. There's some type of transition that's going on that um, somebody has to come to the realization of this is not what's going to happen. You know, and maybe some of you are already realizing that and accepting that. Now it's just to the point of um, letting go. So for some of you, you need to hear this because this is your subconscious mind in Sagittarius season, your 12th house. So this is what you don't know, okay? Star energy in reverse. We have that clarified with the fortune energy. See? For some of you, whoever this person is, it's a good thing you leave them be. Because with the star card energy and the fortune energy, some of you, they were targeting you. You know, trying to dull your shine. Trying to take from you. All right? So we got to go into the extent and find out a little bit more about this because I feel like for some of you, this person's coming back. But let's take a look at the top five cards before we go. So we have the three of wands and energy in reverse. This is uh, Aries energy. Whenever I see wands in reverse, I know something ain't going nowhere because wands are about action. They're about moving. So it's either you moving backwards or forwards. Things are not going forward. We got the two of pentacles upright. Okay, so it's like... You're, this is you realizing that you're wasting time or you realizing the value of the time. This is you thinking, damn, you come to the conclusion that I wasted my time. I put in all this time into this person and I should have been putting time into other things. So this is where you're like, okay, well, now it's time for me to switch this. Right? No more putting time and energy into this situation. No more thinking about that. Five of swords reverse. No more thinking about that. It's over. Yeah, you know, got to let it go. Even though it hurt, you know, got to let it go. So with the hangman energy here, you're being enlightened. You're going through a transformation about the situation you were in. And you realize you have to let this shit go because it wasn't going nowhere. So if that resonated with you, um, leave me a message in the comments. Click the like button. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. Um, I'm headed over to the extended. We're going to pull a few more cards for each of these and just find out what's going on. Because right now, this is what your mind is trying to process, Cap. You're in the mind, you're subconsciously, you're processing this, that this is a situation you got to let go. All right. So uh, let's see what else you need to know. And then, you know, for some of you who have not gotten past this yet, this may be something that could help you because it looks like the situation is going to be fine. It looks like some of you have already been out of, you're already out of this energy. So that's just, you know, if that's any consolation to those of you who are in it right now, just know that you, you're going to be out of this in a minute. So just be cool, right? Things are things are definitely turning around for the better. So with that being said, we'll head to the extended. The link's in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll hit you in the uh, next reading. Later.